good afternoon to you all and welcome it's fa cup fifth round day today and we're going to give you the whole match every kick of the game against Fulham. you're going to see on this video this particular episode uh it's fa cup fifth round it's as i say it's a great um it's a it's a great um fixture in any case uh just before we get to the action i better remind you of the other fifth round games just in case you don't know so bolton have got just to remind you just refresh your memory because i did give the draw out at the time now um just to refresh your memory bolton take on brighton uh you'll be seeing the burley fulham game coming up that's the second time um you know, this is in alphabetical order, order. Uh, David Wagner's Huddersfield have got a tough test away at Mourinho's Chelsea. Should be tough. Same you would say for Neil Redfern's Robin United away at Manuel Pellegrini's Manchester City. There's an old premiership clash between Sunderland and Tottenham. Everton at the Championship, believe it or not, who are romping away with it. Uh, they take on Watford, who are just outside the bottom three in the Premier League. Wolves have got an unenviable task. Kenny Jackett's side go to Van Hal's Manchester United and another all uh, an old London uh, game there the next day uh, I think it's Monday West Ham take on Arsenal but it's the turf floor we go for Burnley against Bullham in the FA Cup fifth round and we're going to bring you all the action now every kick in this episode enjoy the game well welcome to turf Moor for this fifth round cup tie Burnley have made several changes as we look at the referee, Ramsey Dole, they've made about five changes. Dwight Gell being amongst them, partnering Super Mario Balotelli up front. Hughes and Loftus-Cheek get midfield starts, and also Ryan Shawcross makes his comeback from injury. Fulham filled the likes of Stephen Fletcher and Ross McCormack in their side. Stecklenberg is their goalkeeper, and Burnley get us away in this fifth round of the FA Cup. So the current holders come up against the 1975 runners-up here. We've had a few technical problems at Turf Moor today as regards the broadcast, but we are live and we'll be able to bring you this full match now right from its entirety. We couldn't really give you the two lineups as it happened on screen because obviously we were having those technical problems. So if you were hoping to see the teams come out, I'm very sorry about that. Here's Ruben Loftus Cheek. Christiansen away for Fulham. Fletcher, good ball out to the far near side. And Kaczynicic, who spent a little while on loan at Burnley, but an early cross here to chance here now. Fletcher now over on the far side. Fuller making a, a decent start. And an easy catch there for goalkeeper Tom Eaton, who is the captain. Burnley, of course, looking to win the quadruple. And the ball forward up towards Mario Balotelli. Four of his last three games, don't forget. Here's the cross coming in there. And Gale was waiting, but Richard Stearman got it away. And a corner kick to Burnley. Who made hard work over two games against Championship opposition in the third round against Preston. Needing a replay to get through in that one. But they had no troubles here against Shrewsbury. Uh, who were comfortably dispatched here at Turf Moor in round four. First corner of the game. And it's Redmond with it. Shawcross getting it up there. But it's forward towards Russ McCormack here for Fulham. Hughes with the tackle, Ramsey Dole, the referee, playing on, rightfully so. And here's a chance now for Fulham to break, for, break out from defence. Trippier's challenge, but uh, Christensen gets the ball back a second time. Ball in there, headed away by Galloway. Now Balotelli gets it forward. But Stearman intercepts, Tim Ream, formerly a Bolton now, picks it up. 20 minutes of the game gone. Here's McCormack. Ball in there. And Fletcher's in there, and Kaczynicic has put it into the stand. First chance of the game, and it's been coming from Fulham. And Kaczynicic puts it into the Jimmy McElroy end. So it's a goal kick. As the rain sticks down here at Turf Moor. Giving away almost to McCormack. Trippier. Now Ruben off just cheek. Good ball forward, but it's two over hit. Off comes Stecklenberg, the Dutch goalkeeper. Well, off limits. McCormack flicking it on. And Heaton comes out and slices it into touch. And it will be a throw. Tom Kearney. 
from the Blackburn player will take the throw for Fulham. And obviously our manager at the moment. Here's Fletcher. And Christiansen again hits it in at the Jimmy McAvoy end. That's two good chances that Fulham have had in this game. And a fourth both of them. This was the first one, which was closer in from Alex Kazanitskic. But the other one just gone then from Christiansen. That was a, just as poor effort, really. But they're holding in there, the London side, with half an hour gone. The 1975 runners up. Here's Galloway. Hughes. Oh! Stecklenberg had to stretch for that one. He must not have sit in until very, very late. Here it is again. There's the shot coming in, and he's moving at the last second and gets both hands to it. But it will be a corner, but I'll tell you to take it. And the header off the line from Loftus Cheek. And Brendan Galloway with the shot. Hit Richard Stearman. McCormack, Stecklenberg, and credit to Fulham for defending so stoutly. Let's give him a bit of credit. Because normally that would have had gold written all over it. But now at the other end, it's former Burnley man Kazanipskic, but it's away for... Oh, Galloway's giving it away now. Tunnicliffe. And the ball forward was Ross McCormack, but he's offside anyway. Free kick, but I think the referee should have just played on for me because Heaton had possession anyway. There was no doubt that Cormac was offside, but I think the referee could have overruled the linesman and just say, let's play on. Tom Eaton's got the ball. It's in their possession. Let's carry on. And that would have been a much wiser thing to have done. Inside the last five minutes here at Turf 4. Burnley nil, Fulham nil. This is Trippier. Trippier shot. Good save by Stecklenberg. He couldn't hold on to it, mind you, but You've got to allow the goalkeeper a little bit of leeway considering the greasy service and the greasy conditions here. And it's been raining non-stop since early this morning. Two and a minute at the end of the first half. Kearney. Can seize the throw, wins the throw of Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Richards. Can tell by Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Now here's Hughes. Trying to get Balotelli on his way. But Stecklenberg again does his best impression of Manuel Neuer. And there we are. Plenty of chances for both sides. Fulham had two that they blazed into the Jimmy McElroy stand. Burnley had one cleared off the line. And at half time it's stalemate in this fifth round FA Cup tie. Nil nil. So one more come back to Turf Moor for the start of the second half. No changes from my side. Championship side Fulham molding their own here against the Premier League leaders and champions currently and look like being champions elect for the second year running going for this quadruple of theirs already in one cup final in a couple of weeks time here's Balotelli now gets a shot in and the deflection takes it behind for the first corner of the second half as we look at the goal line technology let's see how close that was well, Vossa got it away well before the line, it has to be said. But it was close. No doubt about that. But we've got the first corner of the second half, and it's Nathan Redmond to swing it in. From the near side. Secklenberg with the fist. Hughes with a shot back in. An easy one there for the Dutchman. So just grab hold and get away. Come back with the flick, and here's Kajanitskic. Good stop by Trippier. Bossa, who cleared off the line towards the end of the first half with the throw. Kajanichkic. Just to remind everyone, if he does end a draw after 90 minutes today, there'll be no there'll be no extra time and no penalties because we will have a replay a week on Wednesday at Craven Cottage. Christensen. Cormac. Oof. Was a challenge from behind there. Now, what does the referee Ramsey do? Oh, he's given a red card. It's John Stones, and Burnley's task has been made far more difficult. 
I thought it was a yellow card at best. I didn't think it was worth a red. I've got to be honest. It is a tackle from behind. I'm, I'm not denying that. But I think the referee has overreacted by sending John Stones off the field. A red card? I'm not so sure. I think it was worth a yellow at best. But Burnley are now to 10 men. And what it all to do here? Here's Gale. They need to get Balotelli on the ball a bit more, I think. Balotelli. Oh, what a lovely play. A bit of play here to get Roman Loftus Cheek on his way. Loftus Cheek shot. And a goal kick. What he does do now is give Fulham a bit of confidence. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. Looking at that angle. I'm beginning to doubt whether the referee did overreact. Matter of opinion, that is Ruben Loftus Cheek now for the 10 men. Good save by Stecklenburg. And he's kept Burnley out at every conceivable opportunity. He's had a fantastic match here, the Dutchman playing in goals for Fulham. That is a magnificent save. Redman with the corner. Rodriguez. Easy this time for Stecklenburg. Who it's fair to say has had the look has had all the good luck that's gone gone his way. And good luck to him. He's played magnificently. He's been Bowen's player in the match by a mile. But here's Balotelli. Bowen were a bit sloppy and giving the ball away. And you don't want to give it to this man. It's Mario Balotelli. Oh, he's in the post. Gale! Oh, he's just managed to get it in! And the ten men! The cup holders have got the what they needed, a breakthrough! It's taken them 75 minutes for the in front. Balotelli was very unfortunate. He shot a cannon back off the post, but Dwight Gale, well, how has he managed to get it in on the underside of the crossbar? He almost placed it over. But it just came down enough and it went in. And Burnley got that bit of luck they've been missing for seven, the previous 74 minutes of this match. And Dwight Gale come in because Danny Ings is being rested because of big, big games coming up in league, Champions League and League Cup. Well, he's just come in and took his chance. And has put Burnley 1-0 in the lead with less than a quarter of an hour to go. Tough on Fulham because they have defended stoutly, but... Certainly on Stecklenburg, but you can't say Burnley haven't deserved it. The ten men have had to battle on very bravely. Here's off this cheek. Oh, what a good save again from Stecklenburg. Who, despite being beaten once, has made some magnificent saves. Now we've got a substitution now. This is interesting from Fulham. Ross McCormack, their main source of goals, is coming off now. Ben Pringle. Now that seems an odd one to me. He's not one that uh, would inspire confidence. I would have kept McCormack on if I was the fallen manager, but there you go. Here's the corner from Balotelli. They've come out again to Dwight Gale. Gale tries to chip the goalkeeper, but he's chipped it wide anyway. Well, I'm making another change now. Lionel Cole will come on for Ryan Tunnicliffe. Well, this now is do or die for Fulham. One of the 1975 finalists be departing this year at the fifth round stage. They do have the man advantage, though. That's the one thing that's probably in their favour at this precise moment in time. But the only thing that's going for them right now. But Tim Green has won that header. And here's Christiansen. Tim Reen is now playing as an auxiliary centre forward. And he had the chance then to bring Fulham level. And the Fulham captain thrashes it into the 4,000 Fulham fans situated in the David Fishwick cricket field stand. Redmond. Richard Stearman now for Fulham. They've got three minutes for stoppage time now to stay 
Let's get an equaliser and stay in this FA Cup. Fletcher. Show too much of that to Hughes. And on to Balotelli. He's been um, rather subdued and quiet. Now Jay Rodriguez. Rodriguez a shot. Oh, what a fantastic goal! And Burnley now are into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And it's the hometown boy, Jay Rodriguez, cutting in from the left hand side. And a fierce right footed drive, which gives Stecklenburg no hope at all. And Fulham are a well beaten side because the 10 men at Burnley, in the end, in the last quarter of an hour, have shown their class. And the holders are into the cup quarterfinals. A wonder goal by the hometown boy. His second, his second coming here. It's into his, it's his first goal in his second spell. 2 0. Free kick to Fulham. And the game's up for the London side now. Oh, well, the header on needed a tip over by Heaton. I think it was Christensen who got the header in. Let's have a look at it again. Yep. And it was dipping underneath that bar. Needed a tip over from the Burnley captain. I can follow him. Make it an interesting finish here from his corner kick. Voss is in there. Tom Kearney over the top. Final whistle has gone. Fulham gave it their best shots for a good 75 minutes. Stecklenburg against the Burnley attack, but in the end, it needed something special. And Dwight Gale in the end forced it in after Boateng had initially hit the post, and then right at the end, Jay Rodriguez there shaking hands with the Fulham captain Tin Ring scored a wonder goal in stoppage time, and it's Burnley now who qualify for the quarterfinals of this season's. FA Cup in association with Emirates. Final score then here at a jubilant turf war, a relieved turf war, Burnley 2, Fulham 0. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, Fulham Minute Cup time from turf war. Fulham really gave it their all for 75 minutes, but the 10 men of Burnley really pulled together in that last 15 minutes. Dwight Gale with the first, as you know, and then that Rodriguez special. I'm sure you, you lot will replay that goal over and over again on the video because that was a magnificent strike, wasn't it? And the hometown boy has sit, seen us through without any doubt at all now to the quarterfinals. Let's, keep, let's catch up on the other results today from the weekend. First of all, at the Macron Stadium, where Bolton and Brighton have got to do it all over again after a 1-1 draw, so a replay to be played at the Amex. Burnley, as you've seen, and as we've said, have beaten, knocked out Bray Fulham by two goals to nil. Chelsea have gone through by the same scoreline at Stamford Bridge. Man City went one better and won 3-0 against Rotherham. Spurs won the old Premier League fair up at... Uh, Match up at um, the Stadium of Light, so they're in the cup quarterfinals. Everton and Watford have to replay it down at Vicarage Road after two two after a two two draw at Goodison Park. United are safely through to the uh, quarterfinals, beating Wolves comfortably two 0 and West Ham and Arsenal have to replay at the Emirates after a one one draw at Upton Park. So let's confirm the replays. They'll be played on the twenty seventh of February. These games. And we'll find out on the we'll find out on the 28th of February who plays who in the quarterfinals. Arsenal against West Ham, Brighton against Bolton, and Watford Everton will be all played on the same night. And that keeps you up to date with what's going on. Now we're going to sim the next two games because the sixth ass is the first leg and it's away from home. So we'll sim this. We we'll should have our best team out for this one. And we have. So hopefully we'll get a positive result. We've lost 2-0. So it means we have to get three in the return leg at Turf Moor. Which could be doable. So we've lost 2-0. So we go and play against West Brom. We've lost John Stones for this one of course. But we'll, he'll, he should be back in time for the... Uh, for the uh, for the FA Cup uh, final, uh, the League Cup final, which we're going to be 
uh, seen in the next episode of career mode so um, that'll be a fantastic so we will sim this one as I say Boyan comes back into the side Will Hughes keeps his place so let's see how we're going against West Brom nil nil draw that'll that'll do because we are quite a way ahead in the Premier League at the moment so uh, nothing to worry about at the moment uh, in fact I just better check um, as regards that so it means now that um, so it means now that uh, John Stones is back to play in the cup final now and Danny Ings is also coming back as well which is a great great thing to have to do so that will probably be the 11 that takes part at Wembley on uh, next Sunday Um that will be our feature match so let's just have a look at how how it's going in the table because I think it's in, I think it's vitally important to know uh, what we before we leave you that well we're we're still 13 points ahead Arsenal and Chelsea well Chelsea have played a game less so they could cut the gap to 11 points I suppose but it's um, but we're looking good to the league we need a bit of work to do in the um, the Champions League but it's the League Cup final next for us that's our next episode I hope you very much you enjoyed the following game though that was a cracking cup tie and hopefully the League Cup final next Sunday will be just as dramatic and just as f uh, fantastic as well as we take on Manchester City at Wembley so until then we'll say cheerio and I hope you can join us for the League Cup final, the first domestic final of the season. Can Burnley win it next 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 week? We'll find out. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Enjoy. Bye-bye.